So I'm an analytical chemist, and my work um, involves detecting small metabolites. So they're very small compounds, no more than a um, thousand Daltons. They're like the end process of our metabolism, and using those metabolites to see if we can determine differences between, let's say, cancer patients or healthy individuals. Uh, one of the main things that I'm working on now, um, I'm working with a mouse model of ovarian cancer. Um, it's the first successful one that can replicate the, um, the most deadliest form of ovarian cancer. And we're trying to see if we can distinguish early stage ovarian cancer from late stage because the problem with ovarian cancer detection is that it's not detected until later stages and the survival rate may be, the five year survival rate may be no greater than 10%. So it's a death sentence. And if we can understand what's happening when, you know, the cancer, when tumors first start to develop, we can possibly use that to aid in detection. So because people aren't people aren't diagnosed with it at an early stage. There aren't a lot of like human samples or, um, you know, humans available to test or to kind of like study their tumors or anything of that nature. And so um, with the mice, it's very controlled. We can replicate the cancer. Um, and there are similarities between um, the cancer in humans and the cancer in the mice. And so hopefully that could somewhat translate over um, to humans. You know, in the past, everyone's looked at big molecules like proteins. And we're not getting very far as far as biomarkers are concerned when you look at big molecules. And so, you know, we're at the edge, and our preliminary results show that we can do just that. We can find, you know, 10 to 50 metabolites that can discriminate between someone who doesn't have cancer and someone who does. So that's exciting in and of itself.